Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison and today we are deep cleaning my apartment and I mean like deep, deep cleaning. So in my last clean with me, I organized a bunch of stuff. We had like giant piles laying around my house. Watch that video if you wanna see what all of the organizing stuff was about, but this video is all about deep cleaning. I'm gonna be deep cleaning our Dyson vacuum. I need to cut all of my hair out of the brush roll. It's pretty gross. That needs a good spring cleaning. I'm also gonna clean our baseboards. I'm gonna dust all of our bookshelves, like just lots of nooks and crannies that I just need to pay attention to and actually clean today. That is what is in store for today. I'm gonna to start off in this office with tidying everything up in here because it's kind of a hot mess. So seeing this shot, I'm noticing that this side of my office looks very, very messy. It's normally not this bad. In the corner, you see that check print like stack of presents. My husband's birthday is this upcoming Saturday, so I was trying to hide presents in here behind the office door, and hopefully that being cleared out will make that look a lot less sloppy in the future. always love the satisfying after a shot of how everything is nice and tidy and I also had a cleaning checklist going for today so I checked that off and then we're on to the next room. Okay, office is complete and clean now, thankfully. That wasn't too hard. Just a bunch of random junk that needed to be put back where it belongs. I'm gonna go back through and vacuum and do all of that later because I still want to go and dust that bar cart really in depth. I don't know if you saw it in the corner but it collects a lot of dust and it's kind of a hassle to clean because you have to remove all the wine glasses and everything on it so I'm gonna do that a little bit later we are in the bedroom now which you can't tell from the shot but this is a little embarrassing it is now 3 18 p.m and we have not made our bed i also have piles of laundry that needs to be folded and laundry that needs to be started i don't know if i should start laundry at 3 p.m i don't know we will figure this out as we go Now you'll see me pull out these two little bins and we normally keep our cleaning rags and our kitchen rags in these two Ikea bins in our linen closet and I found it so handy to have them with little handles. That way when I do the laundry for all of our cleaning rags and kitchen rags, I just bring those into the bedroom and then place them in there and they weigh like nothing. I talk about these guys even more in other Ikea organizational favorites in a video I just posted. I really, really love Ikea organization and I think it's some of the best value you can get for a variety of organizational pieces. I'll link it here if you wanna check it out and see some other pieces that I love love too. move on to cleaning the kitchen and tackling that disaster, I get to do my favorite part of finally cleaning our bedroom and that's spraying a room spray on this. This spray comes from Mrs. Myers, and I got it from Grove Collaborative.
We're about to see just how low we're running on dishwasher pods. We have this giant peck that we got from Costco when we first moved in and it has lasted us six or seven months. We've had it the entire time we've lived here, but we're finally reaching the bottom of the bag and I'm gonna need to buy a new one. And I'm really torn about going for just the cheapest option at Walmart that I can find or splurging a little bit and getting a nicer one from the Grove Collaborative. Let me know down in the comments what you guys prefer for your dishwasher detergent. Like, do you guys notice a real difference by using a more expensive or a nicer brand? Or does the generic kind that's the cheapest do the same exact job? This may have been my favorite shot from the entire cleaning day because you get to watch the water filter fill up all of the way and I don't know why, but it's just so satisfying to me. Our water filter is a Brita water filter and I love it because it's really, really big. So it's not a pitcher, it actually has like a spout that you would fill your water bottles with and we have used it the entire time we're in this apartment. You can see that our refrigerator doesn't have a water thing on the door so we've been using this and we have been loving it. Okay, the first project for deep, deep cleaning that I wanna do is dusting off all of these bookshelves. So we have these two 70 inch bookshelves from Walmart and we are obsessed with them. They were at like 50-ish dollars, somewhere around there. Super easy to put together and then we just got it through the pickup delivery. So like we like placed the order online, showed up at the store and bought it. I'll link them down below if you guys wanna check them out. But we've had them for a few months now and I have yet to dust them since we first built them and styled them and set them all up. So I think it's well overdue. I don't think you can see it, but there's just a nice coating of dust on all of this and keeping on the walmart trend for dusting them i picked up a walmart pack of five of these they're the microfiber dusting cloths from them i also tried the grove collaborative ones i'll link my haul where i gave my opinion on those there so these are not super great when it's super super watery and super wet i use them in the kitchen today because it wasn't super splashy but if you have any big spills or you're going to be cleaning a lot of surfaces like when they get wet kind of ruins the point of them and they're not as great, but I think they'll be really awesome for dusting. So I will link them down below too if you wanna check them out. I think it was five of them for $4, which compared to the Grove ones that are two for like $9, I think this is a great deal for like nice dusting, like easy cleaning days. the link for these little dusting rags from Walmart and turns out they're only sold in store so I'm still gonna link it for you guys and you guys can use the walmart.com features to find where in your store like what aisle they're located in but sadly you can't get these online Now you may be wondering why we have a bar cart with an espresso machine inside of our office. We used to have this out in our living space. We got this bar cart off of our wedding registry. It's from Amazon. I'm obsessed with it. It was a really, really good price. I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out. But we thought we would have space in this apartment for it and we clearly do not. So it's kind of just living in the office and it kind of goes with the office. The office has all white furniture, but we still store our wine glasses and like Nespresso pods and our Nespresso coffee machine because we don't have room for all of that in our little kitchen. But it lives out here and hopefully in the next place it'll move out into the actual kitchen. Good morning, day two of all of this cleaning. So yesterday I forgot that I wanted to deep clean, self clean the oven. And I found out that, that takes like four and a half hours. So this morning I just started to deep clean the oven. So I took out all of the racks inside of the oven. I took off all of the burners on top of it. I don't know if those have to be removed, but then I wiped it down and um, I haven't cleaned my oven here ever. And we've lived here six, seven months. So 
it was really nasty. I apologize for how gross this is. So that is currently going on. And I'm in the bedroom. I've got some laundry to fold. I want to get our baseboards clean today. I want to clean out my Dyson. I already mentioned all that, but like there's still more stuff today. So let's get started. guys remember from earlier in the video on day one I had started a bunch of laundry I sorted like our huge giant laundry bin that was filled with the brim and I managed to wash and dry it all and then just dump it on the bench at the foot of our bed I didn't fold it or do anything with it because honestly I was kind of exhausted after all the cleaning I did yesterday so this day is gonna be heavy on laundry but don't worry I sped it up super fast so you're not sitting here for the next 10 minutes watching me do this Clunith had organized with me, I tackled these dresser drawers. These are actually my husband's t-shirts and I am still so proud that they are still going strong and even his workout drawer, all of it is still put together. It hasn't been torn apart and I'm just really proud of that fact. Now while the clothes were laid out on my bed and drying because they were still a little wet, I never put my workout clothes into the dryer. I always hang dry them so sometimes I have to wait a couple minutes longer so I just leave them on the bed with the fan going and then I went and tackled the baseboards. Really is frustrating that it was so hard to capture how dusty they were on camera so I can't really show you guys like the before shot really but trust me they were pretty gross and they looked a lot better after I went over them with these dusting cloths. I'm also going to give you a five second warning to look away if you are grossed out by a lot of hair. I'm about to clean my hair out at the Dyson brush roll. We are trucking through this list and just getting things taken off that to-do list. Baseboards are taken care of. The vacuum is now cleaned out. Just a couple things are left. Once the laundry in the bedroom dries, I need to fold and put that away. When Christian is done cleaning the cars, that's what he's doing right now, thankfully. I don't love going out and cleaning the cars and it's 60 degrees, so it's a little on the chilly side. So he offered to go and clean the cars and like vacuum them and get all the trash out and everything. So that's where he is right now. So he has our vacuum cleaner with him, so I can't actually use the Dyson right now. So when he comes back with that, I'm gonna vacuum the entire apartment and I'm gonna vacuum our couch cushions because I have not done that in way too long. The last time we dropped the fire stick remote, like the little itty bitty remote that you always lose in your couch, the last time it was down in there, I remember reaching my hand in there, being very grossed out by what I touched. And then also the oven, when that finishes, I will give you guys the satisfying aftershot and finally get 
getting everything cleaned out of there. I'll probably find some other little corners to clean up on, but I'm really glad I did this because there were so many neglected parts of this apartment. The baseboards, the cars even are getting done right now, even though you're not seeing that. The oven, just so many little things. And then, sorry if you don't like gross things, but like cutting basically an entire wig out of the Dyson was super necessary too. And one more thing I wanted to show you guys is a teaser for the next video coming out. I need my phone so I can show you where it is with the light. Where is my phone? I know that you guys love my declutter projects and the next declutter project, it, it's a big project. So this coat closet, hall closet, disaster zone is going to be cleaned out. We are going to tear this thing apart, go through it, clean it up, make it bearable. Right now it doesn't even close. It is that bad in there. So this desperately, desperately needs some attention. I almost forgot. I have one last thing I want to share with you guys. So if you can tell our little back deck got an upgrade. So Christian's birthday is going to be this Saturday and his family actually sent over as a birthday gift some outdoor furniture and it's super, super cute. It's just simple foldable chairs and a foldable little table, but I like the black and white check. It makes it look like it's almost like a bistro, like a little outdoor cafe situation. It's still a little bit too cold for us to be outside enjoying it, but we will definitely be getting out there soon and I will link this for you guys down below if you wanna check it out. And we're excited to actually start using this once it really, really warms up because our view is pretty nice outside. So these couches were actually a huge blessing for Christian and I because we are newlywed newlyweds. I always say that all the time, but we've been married for like seven months now, maybe eight. I don't really remember, but this couch came from his parents' house. So thankfully we didn't have to buy a lot of our furniture when we first moved into our apartment. So we had like a fully furnished home kind of for free thanks to them. We would love to have a fresher, newer couch. Well, at least I would. I think Christian might be fine with this, but I would love to have a more updated looking couch. And I don't know if I would want two separate couches, like a love seat and a bigger couch or a sectional. So what do you guys prefer. Do you guys have a sectional? Do you guys have just a single couch? Do you guys have two couches and then extra chairs? Like what do you guys prefer to have in your houses? I've been looking at hundreds of couches recently. You can see that the checklist is mostly complete at this point and with the fresh clean Dyson brush roll I'm going to go through and vacuum the entire house top to bottom. By this point, the laundry in the bedroom had fully dried, so I folded all of that up and then put it back in the drawers. Now this is all of my workout stuff, so thankfully it wasn't too big of a pile to tackle and it all was going to the same drawers basically. So now we can fully appreciate the lovely fluffy bed. I actually just shared an Instagram of me holding like a mug right here because I am so in love with all of the nudes and all of the like, I don't know. It just seems so inviting and warm and cozy and I just love this setup. But we are getting to the end of this video. I am about to just go finish up cleaning the kitchen and cleaning out the burner plates. And then when the oven is done, I'll wipe that all out and show you the final reveal and that'll be it.
In hindsight, I probably should have waited a little bit longer for the oven to cool down because you can see that the rag I was using to clean up all of the ashes was actually steaming, but I was really, really safe, guys, and then I made sure that no fire started, but I was happy to get that checked off my to-do list and then finally put the kitchen back together. The very last chore I am tackling on this clean with me is cleaning all of my kitchen rags and cleaning rags that had piled up during the week. We normally just stack them beside our laundry basket and then finally I started to load and that kind of signified the end of all of the cleaning. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching today and I hope it was satisfying and enjoyable and I will see you guys later. Bye!